before you start learning how to do acrylic nails and you, there are some things you need to know that nobody's really talking about acrylic nails. Well, let me know. <laughs> That's what we're going to do next. Okay, good. Let's get started. The number one thing is do not start on people. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, a lot of people will just get the product from wherever and they will start and put it on themselves or they'll get a girlfriend or a friend right away and start working on the friend right away. Oh. Right. We don't want to do that. Okay. The reason why we don't want to do that is because you're going to make all your mistakes on a human. Now you got to get it off. Yeah. So we don't want to do that because acrylic is very different. Once it gets on there, you can't get it off until you file it off. Mm. Right. Okay. So it's one of those things you want to learn how to work the product before you take it to a human, right? Good to know. Yeah. Cart, cart before the horse. That's right. Okay. You're really taking on way too much. You really want to learn how to work with the product first before you take it to a real organic nail. Because all you're going to do is frustrate yourself and be really mad and have to get it all off. Okay. Right. So Good that's number, the number one thing you need to know. Number two, and this is going to sound really weird. But acrylic is hard to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is the hardest medium in nails to do. Why is that? Because it cures while you are working on it. You have about 40 seconds to shape it before you cannot shape it anymore. That's quick. That's a quick turnaround time. That's why Hybrid Gel, yes. also known as Poly Gel, which is a brand. Yours is easy. That's right. That's it easy is gel. easy yeah. because... Easy, yeah. It is easy because... It doesn't cure until you're ready to put, put it in. It, right. So acrylic is the hardest to do, the hardest of all the products, like in durability. Right. But if you can't master it, of course, it can look the worst. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That makes sense. So I would sooner yeah. just take, I, if I'm going to go to a professional, I would rather go to somebody who can put a full cover tip on well. Okay. Rather than a person trying to attempt acrylic that doesn't do it well. Yet, if I found somebody that did acrylic really well, I would take them over all of the nail products. Okay. Acrylic is number one. It's the best. Gel follows very close next. Okay. And then your full cover tips and everything else below that, right? Okay. Press-ons and stuff. But acrylic is the hardest. And once you get it, it's just magic. I'm excited to yeah, try. It's the best. Many people don't know, actually, to help the process of learning how to do acrylic nails, there is a slower set of monomer that you can buy. Ooh. Yeah, and if you don't know much about it, there there's a standard regular monomer that we all use and I mm -hmm. love, but it dries rather quick. Really quickly. Which is fine. You got to really try to learn fast. And believe me, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> then uh, about 20 years or so ago, they did introduce a slower setting, which is also low, lower odor. Sometimes oh. the odor can get to people and they don't like okay. it, especially if you're learning at home. It can stink up the place a little. Family members might not like it. So slow set came in and, or, and we didn't like it. It's called odorless. We didn't like it because experts, professionals, it's just too slow. But if you're learning, and we have so many DIY, it's a huge market yes, now. Yes, it is. Yeah. And why push them right into a faster set if you can learn with the slower set? You may not use it as time goes on, but for learning, for if a learning I tool, had it, yeah. it would have changed my learning curve and I would have learned so much faster. So odorless slow set is what I hugely suggest that you start on. It'll work a little bit more like your hybrid gels. Okay. Yeah, a little bit okay. slower. But it's acrylic. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It'll be I'm in another excited. video. Another really misleading technique is the giant brushes. The giant acrylic brushes that a lot of like people... Like a number 8, number 11, those yeah, kind of ones. Yeah. They can get up to 22. That's a big brush. Mm -hmm. We're not doing toes. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> We're, doing, okay. We're doing fingernails. Right. And with those big brushes, they also want to try to do the one bead method, one ball method. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stay away. That's from all the... I understood that you did. So that's a fascinating thing that you're bringing up now. And you can work into it. Sure, but don't start there. That's I see. Right. 
Right. Okay. Start, Again, start small running, and build. Running before you can walk. Right. Let's, let's learn some training wheels here before we get on that I'm all about the training bike. wheels. Yeah. Thank you. So stay away from those giant brushes. It also can lead to allergies because there's too much monomer in those things. And the one bead method, stay away. It will sabotage you and you'll get so disappointed you'll chuck something out through the window. I feel like I need some notes. I should be taking notes. Are you taking notes? Yeah. I should be taking notes now. I'm like, ah. We'll, we'll put them in point form on oh, the screen. Good. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's what we'll do. So stay away from those big brushes. Now, because of everything out in the open and social media and stuff, there's a lot of people doing products and you can see acrylic go down really quick and they do it really quick. Mm -hmm. It can be really discouraging when you start trying it at first. Yeah, because they look like they're doing it in about 10 seconds yeah. flat and you're like, oh. That's not reality. That's okay. not how it goes down. So usually when I do classes, social media, you know, wasn't so present. Right. And the student didn't know about all that stuff. So I never told them how hard it was. Never oh, told them. Okay. And I would teach gel and acrylic, and I would always start them on acrylic because it was the hardest and not one. tell them. Oh. They're more relaxed, and they would do really good, and I found great success that way. Okay. And then anything else they did after acrylic was easy for them because it's everything else is easy, and the acrylic is the hardest. But with social media out there, everything's out there. Yes, all I the mean, information is right at your fingertips. Yeah. But not all of it's good information, which is why you have to come to the experts. Yeah, that's Good point. Yes. So whoever your expert is, they probably will tell you that you really want to not discourage yourself by just giving up. Acrylic is hard. I've trained so many people that were almost like, oh, I'm like three months in and I still can't get it. I'm six months in, I still can't get it. And then all of a sudden they'll we'll go through a few things and then they'll get back to me and say, oh my goodness, am I ever glad I hung in there because nice. I love it. I get it. It's it's happening and it's there. So oh, stick good. with it. Yeah, oh, if you good. really okay. like it, stick with it. So mm -hmm. I don't want you to be all intimidated by the fact that it is hard, but I'm just being honest and I'm being real about it. This is the truth about acrylic. Awesome. It I is like the hard. truth. Nothing but the truth. Yeah, but it's <laughs> lovely. Once you get it, you are going to be so happy. I'm excited to try something. Okay, so that's the next video. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you how to start it. Yes. Okay.